again and there and there. I might not come when you want, <laughs> all right? But I'll be there right on time, yeah, amen. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. So he says, wait on me. Yes. And be of good courage, amen. Yes. So wait on him. Yes. And while I'm waiting, I'm still give God a praise. Yes. Right. The event because I know that he's going to do it, amen. Yes. I might not see it right now, but I know that he's going to do it, amen. Yes. It might not look the best right now, amen. Yes. I might not be driving my Mercedes Benz right now, but I know that he's going to do it yes. in a little bit, amen. Because right. I know right. he's able yes. to do it, amen. Yes. And we come in expectancy knowing that God can, amen. Yes, can. But now we have to sit here and take a look at it then because sometimes we, as Christians, sometimes the devil will talk to us, yeah. amen. All right. Yeah. Sometimes the devil will tell you, you know what, that God that you serve, he don't want you to prosper. He wants uh -huh. you to fail. Yeah. Come on. He, 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 he don't want you to do that. The uh -huh. devil will tell you yes, that. Yes, he will. Right. Amen. And yes, the thing about it is the people that will that the devil will use to take will be the people that's right next to yes, you. Yeah. Amen. 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 That should be uh -huh. helping lift you up and that's keep you right. in the house. God is the one people that's bringing you down. Amen. 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 And then that's when you got to find some separation. Amen. Amen. And see, a lot of times, God has shown us that separation point, but we don't do it because we want to hold on to that friendship. All God right. come to tell you tonight, cut that person off. All right. Cut them off. Amen. All right. That wasn't on my paper, but cut them off. Amen. All right. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on All man. right. But if we be honest, a lot of the things that God did not touch at that moment, a lot of the things that we were going through in our life, a lot of the situation that we prayed to God, God, do this. God, take this away from me. God, touch this person. A lot of that stuff that we prayed to God and asked God to touch, he didn't touch. And we've learned from it ourselves. Amen. All right. Amen. A lot of the things that God did touch, that was the moment for you to learn. Amen. Amen. That was the, the time for you to get it. Because if he was, he would have did it right there and there. You would have never learned from the situation. Amen. Amen. Come on. How many people believe that on tonight? Amen. Amen. Come on. How many people really believe that Hallelujah. on tonight? Yeah. Yeah. See, those are, there are a lot of things that you have gone through that may have killed you. And because God took his hand away and gave you the power to fight that situation, right. you didn't die. Right. Amen. Right. Because a lot of times, we as pastors or ministers, we cripple our strength because we do everything for them. And then when it comes time for them to operate, Step we can't up. operate yes. because we don't know how to move in God. Amen. All right. Amen. So when it's time for them to pray for themselves, they don't know how to pray because we don't pray for them all the time. All right. All right. All right. Soon as something bad happens, have to pray for me. You better learn how to put your hand on your own body and say, God, heal me right now. Amen. Right. Amen. Touch me right now, God, because I'm feeling now. sick. Touch me right now, because this person may say one more thing to him. I'm going to slap them. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. Don't tell me that y'all ain't never been there before. Amen. Amen. And they say one more word. That's right. Word. One more word. That's right. See, y'all not talking to say, I told you we got to be real on tonight. We got to be real on the night. Amen. You got to do that. You have to do that. But then, also, a lot of times you look at that. Once you go through that and you're able to do that, now, when that situation arises again, now you're able to laugh at the devil in his face. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Because now he can't put, bring that back to you no more. That was a problem Amen. with you. Amen. That's because right. now you're able to look at that devil in the eye and say, I'm able to move on That's because right. I'm over That's that. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Because Amen. Amen. the word says we've been it for a night, but joy, joy comes in the morning. the morning. So don't worry about it. If you might be going through right now, you're learning from that situation, but believe me, your joy is going to come in the morning. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 The key to growth is patience. All right. And that's something that a lot of saints don't have. Amen. Amen. Because some of y'all ready to go right now. Amen. 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 We don't have patience. Amen. We be we, we ready to go. But patience works hand in hand with faith. Amen. Because in order for you with pay with patience, you have to have faith. Because a lot of times, if you don't have that faith to believe that it's going to happen, you'll give up. Praise God. You'll give up on that thing, and then right, and a lot of times the blessing is right there, and we give up too quick. Right. Amen. We give up too quick, and it's right there. And if you'd have just took two more steps, it would have been right there in your hand. Amen. But we choose to give up too quick, Amen. too quick, too quick. So in that, you must learn how to lean on Jesus. Man, lean you. on Jesus. And let me tell you, lean on Jesus. It's easy to say lean on Jesus. All right. right. I want you to lean on Jesus. One thing about leaning on Jesus is this is a learned behavior. Amen. Because how can you lean on something that you don't know nothing about? All right. Amen. And then that's where prayer and Bible study comes in. Sunday school. 
when the pastor gets to preach you, to teach you the word in the Bible and let you know that, hey, by his stripes I am healed, okay? Uh -huh, yeah. I'm more than a conqueror. When All you're right. able to quote those scriptures in the midnight hour when you're feeling bad, that's the only way that you're going to be able to lean on Jesus because you can't lean on something that you don't know. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Let me tell you right now, if I didn't know Apostle Robinson, I'm not going to lean on him. He hold me. Amen. Yeah. Because yeah. what I see right now, if I lean on Apostle, he's going to fall and I'm going down too. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I know one thing about laying on Bishop, he's a little strong, but I know about he's going to catch me. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> he's going to catch me. He's going to catch me. And so as we continue, we're still in that Jesus, God, I didn't think that you were coming. So a lot of times we get into this place where now you are in a situation, the situation has become so bad, your problem looks so bad that now it's to the point that I don't even think that God is coming. I don't even think that God is coming. And now when you begin to sit down and you begin to pray to God and you begin to try to get and get an understanding from God, you can't even get it because now instead of it being pure prayer, now it's an attitude. Amen. Right. Now you have an attitude with God. But God, you know if you would have did this, I wouldn't have to be doing this, God. Right. If you would have did that, I wouldn't have to be in this place. Yeah. And we begin to get an attitude. And as you continue and we go on with that, a lot of us will get even bolder and say, you know what, God, you wouldn't even got to come. All right. You ain't even got to come in. You know what? That reminds me a lot. I'm going to get in trouble for this, but we're going to do it anyway. Hallelujah. It reminds me a lot of my relationship between me and my girlfriend. Amen. <laughs> and when she called me and she said, you coming by the house today? And it's one of those days I'm upset. No, I ain't coming. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, why you not going to come? Because I just ain't coming. Well, you know what? You ain't got to come anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to come anyway. But that's, <laughs> you ain't got to come anyway. Amen. But uh, what the point that we're trying to make is a lot of times we do things like the things that we're making God mad and we're not. Mm -hmm. you're, not you're, you're, you're not making God mad by doing that. Huh? How many people believe that? How many people have done that before? Amen. Oh, let's see. We ain't going to be honest in the house of God. I know so many of y'all have done it. Come on. How many, come on. That's right. How many people have done that before? They didn't think that God was coming. Amen. Oh, okay, now I feel a little bit, a little bit better. Amen. <laughs> feel a little bit better. <coughs> but at the end of the day, there is still we still have those things that say that I trust in God, that I believe in God, and that I know that God will make a way out of no way. Amen. 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 So in that part of it, now when you begin to do that and you know that God is going to make a way out of no way, you're able to move on to new things. You're able to move on to bigger things. Because now you know that through my faith that I know and I believe through the scripture that I read every day that God will be here. Amen. Amen. And by me believing that I'm able to touch somebody that's not as strong as I was yeah. and pull them with me. Amen. Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of babies out here in the street that's not that's not strong like we are. Amen. Amen. Now listen, it don't take a lot of strength to tell somebody that God is able. All right. Amen. It doesn't take a lot to do that. It's, all you got to do is say, God is able to believe that. Amen. Amen. Believe that he's able. Amen. 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 Thank you. And so, as you continue to do that, and you begin to continue in your walk with God, there's a lot of things in our life that before God can come and rectify anything, has to die in your life. Well, Amen. Well, and see, don't get that confused with a physical death. I'm not saying that you have to die. There has to be a spiritual death. Amen. A lot of things Amen. that you're going through the reason why you can't go for anyone is because you're still struggling with that one issue, amen, amen. or that multiple issue, amen. amen. You're struggling with it. And in order for God to get the glory, you have got to get that thing out of your system, amen. amen. All right. Amen. And because, let me tell you, there's no true anointing until you go through something, amen. Well, right. well amen. there's no sure. true anointing until you go through something. I, again, I look at mom and I look at papa and I know that they've been through something. They're anointing. All they got to do is say one or two words and it's just, hey, that's it. Hallelujah. That's it. Because they, 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 they've been through something. They've been through something. They're, been through something. They're able to that's teach true. us young people that, you know what? The lights might have got cut off next week, but God's going to turn them back on, amen. 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 Oh, I heard Apostle say that when he came to South Carolina when they had the the uh, the washer the the car place burned out. He still came, amen. First off, and that took a lot because a lot of us would stay home. That's all right. All right. A lot of us would stay home. First oh off. no, I got to stay. Bishop, we'll catch you next time around. Amen. We'll catch you on the next go round. But through his faith, he had already known that he had a goal and a mission that he had to come to Well, amen. and he did it. First off, and see now listen now understand this. A lot of times when God doesn't come, 
there's a reason why he doesn't come. Because yeah. if God had come at that moment, you may not have given him the glory. Amen. Right. Amen. A lot of us would have took the credit for what God had did. Yeah. Right. Amen. So in order for God to get the glory, he had to wait. Uh -huh. And in the scripture, as we read, God does his best work at your weakest hour. Amen. 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 Then you're at the point where there's nothing left for me to do. God, I don't have nowhere to turn. I don't go to the left. There's problems on the left. I can't go to the right. There's problems on the right. I can't go back because there ain't no more room for me to back up. I'm trying to go forward, God, and I just don't know what to do. But God has to get you to that place where you're able to say, God, I surrender it all. All right. I surrender. I give yes. it all to you, God. There's nobody else can do it. Amen. There's nobody else can touch this thing but yes. you, God. Yes. There's a lot of people, that's some people that's in here on tonight that you're going through something. There's no, nobody can't fix that issue but God. Amen. Right. That God. you're going through on tonight. Yes. But I come to tell you that God said that he is going to fix that issue on tonight. Amen. Right. Right. And you have to believe it because God said, I am coming. Right. I am coming. Yes, I'll be there. Yes, I'll be there right, right on time. He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there yes. right yes. on time. That's an yes. old song. That's an old song that Mother Jesus Hallelujah. said that. And you got to know that. Yes. You, have, you, you have to trust and believe and know no, no, no. that yes, he Thank will you. be Hallelujah. there. Praise the Lord. And then, so now what God is asking us is, all God asks you is to praise him. Amen. All God asks for you to do is praise him. It's hard for you to praise him. Yes. You know what? We praise everything else. Oh, yes. You know what? I might have a cold. I might be coughing up. But if you'll maybe run a touchdown at the football game, you'll be the loudest person hollering at the game. All right. Come on. Somebody talk to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If somebody yes, was to come and drop $1 million in your, your lap, you wouldn't <laughs> could stop. From yelling, running down the street. Amen. Amen. As soon as you get in the house of God. Hallelujah. Give him oh. praise. Yes, yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> My leg is hurting. This show, I can't make it to church on today. Come on, man. Yeah. You got to you learn to give right. God praise. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amen. In spite of how it looks, yeah. I'm still going to give God the glory. The That's right. Right. Amen. 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 And just because he's not doing it nothing right now doesn't mean it's not going to come to pass. Right. Amen. 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 And so because of that, I'm going to give God a advanced praise. Amen. And so yeah. now what you have to do is in that place of your hurt, you got to pull a hurt praise out. Yes. You got to do it begin to come to the altar and yeah. give the yeah. to the Lord. God, I'm hurting God, but I know God that you Amen. can do it. I don't see it happening yes, right now, God, but I know Amen. that you're going to do it. You got to yes. begin to pull that thing out. And let me tell you something. Sometimes when you begin to do that, you will heal your own set. That's right. Bishop, first lady, nobody don't even have to come and touch you. When you come and pray, you begin to cry. You'll surrender That's it all. Right. Amen. You have to, you have to do that. And listen, yes, don't let Lord. nobody, don't Lord. let nobody take the joy that God has given you. Yes. When you come up here, you get that thing. Don't let nobody take yes. it away yes. from yes. you. Yes. Right. A lot of times we come up here, we cry, and we come and we come from a place of hurt, and we spit and we snot and we all over the floor rolling around. And as soon as you get out of the door, that same person that made you come to the altar stand there, and you're back in the same situation again. Yes. And now, you got to learn how to tell the devil where to get off. That's right. Because right. right. you have the power to do that. Amen. Amen. See, a lot of times what we do, we give the devil too much power. That's right. Amen. Right. 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 We give the devil too much power. All right. Every time something happens, that's nothing but the devil. No, sometimes you need to just say what it is, what it is. That's Watch you. You did that. All right. You did that. When he called you that night, you knew what he was calling you for Amen. from the beginning. That ain't the devil. That's you. You knew it. All right. Amen. 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 All right. Yeah. Amen. You knew that. Amen. You knew that. And we, we, we do. We make all kind of excuses. The devil didn't drive your car across the street. All right. He did it. That's right. He did it. Your two hands with your five fingers or four fingers or three fingers, how many fingers you got, drove you across the street. So, that, so you already knew what you was walking into before you got there. Right. So you got to learn how to resist the devil. Right. And then we got the nerve to say, we put our own self in that situation and then say, God, why didn't you come and help me? All right. Talk to him. Well, why Amen. help somebody that don't want to help themselves? All right. All right. Amen. Why, 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 why am I help somebody that doesn't want to help themselves? That's a lot of things like Bishop said, I'm trying to lose weight, but he can't help me until I decide that I'm going to go to the gym and run on the track. <laughs> now, I can't blame it on the, the devil put that cheeseburger in front of me today. And I'm 
See, we can blame I all of you, but until I make the decision that I am going to go to the gym, I'm going to be, and the thing about I'm going to be consistent. But see, because see, this can't be a one day thing. You can't come here on today and then get it, get your visa, and don't come back ever again. That's right. That's right. You got to stay consistent with what's going on. Amen. Amen. Because in order for me to lose the weight, I got to continue to run. And you know what? And one thing that we talk about, basically, with being fitness is I can't stay at that one speed. I got to change the speed eventually because I'm a plateau and I'm going to be stuck at that. So then that means that I have to change my speed. So listen, when you come to church and you begin, listen, you got to go higher. You got to go higher. You got to go higher because God is here waiting for you. And all you got to do is build your level up to him. And he's standing there waiting right there for you. He's waiting there right there for you. And all you have to do is build up to it. And listen, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. All right. I'm not telling you that you're going to come in today and have it tomorrow. The right. devil's a liar. It's some people that have been saved for 50 years, they still ain't God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They still drinking on milk and should be eating, right, Bishop? All right. Praise right. the Lord. They should be teaching, but they still have to be taught. Amen. Yeah, that's right. And so that's another thing. Be careful who you listen to. All right. Make sure that it's God that you're hearing from because everything that's prophesying and prophesying in Jesus' name. All right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Be careful who you hear from. Amen. Amen. Be careful, because in this day and age, a lot, I'm looking at my generation as it own this, we've got so commercialized where now everybody, we we, we, we got to be like, we got to have that sound, you got to have the good hammer organ, you got to have a good, good tune. It's not real anymore, so we got to get back to the realness of God. Amen. That's, That's right. Because we got to stop coming to perform. We, we, we got to stop trying to be like everybody else. Be yourself. Amen. 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 Just because if Amen. you don't know how to two-step, if you don't know how to take them and put them down, jump up and down, run around the church, run a circle, if all you can do is wave your hand, wave your hand, and don't let nobody make you feel bad because that's all you got. Use what you got. Amen. Use what you got. 